today we're going over how to adopt a unified device into the unified controller via SSH. It's a pretty straightforward process. There's a few different reasons you'd want to use this. It's pretty easy, so if you have a bunch of devices that you have to set up and you have to adopt them into a controller that's not physically where you're located, but you have either a port forwarding or you're using the uh, hosted unified controller, you can just SSH to the device and then point it to the right controller and adopt. Pretty easy. The other reason you might need to use it is if for some reason your adoption breaks and you have to point it back. I've had this once or twice with the 24 port pro switches where they'll update and then they'll lose their controller connection and they'll SSH in, repoint the inform string and it'll readopt. So those are the reasons you might have to use this method. Now today you're going to notice that I am trying to adopt this into a controller that's physically in my network. So you'll see that it's already available for adoption since it's physically sitting here. So what I'm doing is kind of pointless, but we'll do it for training purposes so you know exactly how to do it the next time you need to do it in an actual environment. So first thing you're going to do is, actually in this case, the device that I'm working from is already defaulted. So to SSH in, it's going to be the default credentials abunt abunt or UBNT, UBNT, however you pronounce that. So that's the case for this device. Now, if you're dealing with a device that has for some reason lost its adoption, try the defaults, but if they're not working, try whatever your controller is set to. Because it could be that it's still using some of that information, so it has the credentials from your controller's SSH, but it's just not adopted. So SSH in that way, and you may have better luck. So we're gonna SSH in, SSH in a terminal. Now, if you're using Windows, you could use PuTTY or something like that, but on Mac, it's pretty straightforward to just use the terminal. And so SSH bunt at IP address of the device that we're connecting to. And that would be 141. And the password is the same thing. And we're in. And we can see what the inform string is set to by just typing in info and right here, unable to resolve unify. Now, just a side note, interesting hack that you can do if you are dealing with the network and you want all the devices to go to a controller that's off-site, you could actually set in your firewall that unify redirects to whatever your controller address is. Something to keep in mind. Um, not doing that in today's video, but it's uh, a useful hack. And next step is to do set-inform space HTTP, not S, forward slash, forward slash, and then the URL of your controller. In this case, I'm going to the IP address of my controller, but if you're using either your own controller or the cloud hosted one, you gotta point it to the dedicated URL of your controller. So not unified at ui.com, but your actual URL. So put that in, and again, HTTP, not HTTPS. As you see here, that's what it's recommending, HTTP, so your IP address. And once you have your URL entered, you'll put in colon 8080 forward slash inform and enter. Now you'll see that it's trying to be adopted and you have to go to the controller to finish the adoption. So enter into your controller and you should see the device showing up. If it's not, it's likely you've typoed the inform string or there's some other type there. So just redo it, make sure you have it all correct, and then you can click adopt, and the device will adopt into your controller. That's the process to do it on a Mac from SSH. If you have any questions or concerns, just leave a comment below and we can see if we can help. If you'd like your network managed by us, again, either comment below or reach out on our website and we'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching, have a great day.